Our veteran wounded warrior uh, hiring initiative is clearly an opportunity for us to develop and bridge opportunities for the research laboratory with our wounded warrior and veteran uh, workforce. You know, most soldiers are, are highly skilled in their uh, particular area. And while that's, you know, very good for the Army, it can be a challenge for them coming out in the civilian world. I think that's one area that we can help them broaden their, their skill sets, their background, because we understand the Army's way of, of teaching things. When I first got here, um, I met the team. Right from the start off, I was happy with them. I mean, they were full of energy, they were knowledgeable. The team that they work with is probably one of the most important parts of their transitional experience here at ARL. Since my live day, the transition has been a very long and challenging, difficult road. I was laying down, they put me in a hospital bed for nine months, and then took me another nine months to learn how to walk again. And after a while, you gotta start thinking about it. All right, what, what's, what am I doing? Where am I going? And then the opportunity comes up to do an internship, you jump at it. About four months ago, Mr. Ray from Operation Warfighter introduced us telephonically to Colonel Ellison, who came out to one of our internship fairs to set up a table at Booth bringing soldiers to interest. Specialist Pullen then talked with Colonel Ellison, presented his resume. Colonel Ellison took the ball from there and ran with it. When uh, Army Research Lab gave me the opportunity, I was like, this is even better. Let, let's just keep moving forward. I started seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Claude came in a few months ago, and since then, uh, it's been much nicer having somebody help us in the lab. It's been significantly more productive. We, he comes in on a daily basis and asks us how he can help, and he's very eager to learn every day. It was amazing. The first day he came in here, he was already jumping right in to help the team understand some things that they hadn't done in the past. Working with someone that has uh, combat experience, who actually shares stories with us about his experience on the battlefield I and mean, how he uh, can see uh, soldiers directly benefiting from some of these technologies that the Army is working on. You know, we talk about the value added to ARL. Uh, there's a value to our veterans, our wounded warriors, as a part of this initiative. And I think as civilians and contractors, we lose sight of the practical application of our research. When we talk to people such as Specialist Poland who have actually been there and experienced it, it makes our research come alive. I don't want people to look at me just at the brace. I want people to see me as an engineer technician, as a packaging technician, as, yeah, he's our combat veteran. Let's see what he thinks about this item or that item. The team is just like, it's a family that we just keep moving forward. We don't stop. They want to be a part of something that continues to transform capabilities uh, to their brothers and sisters in arms that are still out there in the field operating. So it's not only that we're, we get the technical uh, capabilities in those, those folks coming into our organization, but we provide them opportunities to continue to serve our nation honorably. There is a life beyond the Army, and you just have to find it.